again, looking at it, um, you know they didn't prepare much, but, but, but looking at the, the formula they got, it just doesn't look like that's the parts. So what I want to do is just look at this thing first. And if someone said you're going to do that by parts, I'd have to come up with some parts on it. I would. And so what, what I would do is probably borrow one of the signs. I've been doing this for a while now. And then I could look at this and say, you know, maybe I could do that part, right? Look at that as being parts. So, you know, one of the parts I could choose is I could say u is equal to, you know, um, sine to the m minus 1x. That means the dv would be sine x dx. That's not so bad. I could do that. And then what do you get? Let's be really careful about this. You can definitely do du. That doesn't need to do bad to me. You know, n minus 1 comes down. The, you reduce the power by 1. And then times the derivative of the sine, which is cosine. Relatively simple, right? The uh, antiderivative of sine is going to be minus cosine. So I, I wrote that down. And what I write down, uh, let's go through that with you. I wrote down uv. Well, let's, let's make sure and send it. u, that's u, and that's the v. All right, so uv. Let me sure I said that right. I think I did it backwards. Let me go back over that again. I, I said it backwards. So I said V and then the, uh, the U. And then it's going to be, uh, let's see, V DU. Let's put that down. And I want to see if this is what they did. Again, you're studying. So V, it's minus or minus, so it's going to be plus cosine X. And then the DU, N minus 1, sine N minus 2X. Got another cosine there, so I'll put cosine squared here, and then DX. And did they get that? Let's take a look at it. Well, I see they pulled the N minus 1 out. I see they got the sine n minus 1. Um, n minus 2, I mean. Cosine squared. Looking great. All right. What's the next thing I would do? You know, looking at it. And again, this is a more difficult problem. There's no doubt about it. It's like the other ones where just, boom, you put it down, integration by parts, you're done. I'm not even close to it at this point. But I do have something. All right. I do have something. I, I, I sort of have, you know, part of it. Not that, I don't have that end yet. All right. So what I did over here was I borrowed you know, that cosine squared and turns it into a sine. So cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. I expanded it. And what would you get? You would get, you know, sine to the n minus 2 minus sine to the n. I want to point out there's a good point for getting sine to the n, the problem, because I see it over here. And then what I do is I just kind of, you know, multiply it out, right, and, and write it down in two different integration problems. Right, you saw this in the beginning. Whoops. I'm breaking this into two integrals, n minus 1 times this guy here, minus n minus 1 times this guy over here. And then what I did, let me get my eraser out here. I'm kind of following along this thing, and you study this. These don't come easy for a lot of students. I think memorizing is probably unproductive, though. So what, what I did next was I looked at this, and I added it to both sides. Now, someone said, what do you mean at the both sides? If I think about this thing, it's one of them. There's one of these things here. And if I add this thing, it's going to be plus n minus 1, which would just give me n. So that's where this is coming from over here. All right? Then what am I left with? The first term. And then this integration over here. All right? All right. So let's take a look at that. And we're almost there. I don't know if it's what they gave me, though. What do you do? Divide both sides by n now. You get this over here, and you get this, and you get this. Now, I want to go back, and I want to see if we've done what they've asked us to do. All right, let me erase all this business over here. After working through all that over there, was I able to obtain... what they said? I get that part. Was I able to obtain what they said? Yep. Was I able to obtain this integration over here? Yep. So someone says, what did you come here? 
reducing the power by two, and that's it. Have we been doing this for a while now? We have for squares and fourth powers. Just imagine if that a thousand, no. You know, this, this could go on, and that's the problem. I would prefer to do things by hand, by the way, all right, not memorize a formula. Thank you.